Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Adam Lewis. You're watching Adam Lewis TV. I think the AMC squeeze, the MOAS that we've all been waiting for, is going to start this month in January. Let's get down to business. I'll tell you why. First and foremost, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I'm just a guy on YouTube talking to you like a friend, telling you my thoughts. So use this video for entertainment purposes only. Now I'm shooting this video right now. It's about midnight on the 2nd of January. By the time I upload this video, I'm going to schedule it to upload at about 4 a.m. or so. That way it's at about 7 or so a.m. on the East Coast. And we'll have about an hour or so, or you know, a couple, three hours before the market. The very first trading day of the new year starts. So you're going to get this information at that point. But this is what my thoughts have been. I'm looking, I'm thinking we're getting, we're getting side, we're getting smacked around by very various different people, lots of YouTubers, or lots of you know media, and 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 about what's going on. Is it really going to hit these numbers? Is it really possible? And even if you look in the comment section below on my other videos, there are people that are like, you know, a lot of people are naysaying and, and who knows who they are. I do read all the comments. I do look at all the comments. I love most of the comments and you know, as well as I do, I respond to your comments. So please make sure you comment below and smash that like button right now. But this is what I'm thinking. Okay. Tonight, what I've been doing, and again, it's midnight, right now my time on uh, in California I've been I, I watched um, a lot of a lot of youtubers I've watched Lou and I've watched Al they both had like two hour Lou had a live stream for that I watched the the the, uh, the replay of that all the information he was throwing out there um, he was answering a lot of questions back and forth I hold him in very very high regard Lou also, Al, Al from Boston, hold him in very, very high regard. Trey, all the guys. I, I watch them all. Um, but I watched Lou and Al. That was like an hour back to back tonight. And it got me thinking. A lot of things that both Lou said and Al said got me thinking. And then I started digging a little deeper in, in like Reddit and other social media platforms and making a couple phone calls. And I want to sit down and just with you... Let's discuss what we do know, and let's discuss the current climate of our, our economy, really the, the world economy, and let's think about realistically, mathematically, where this stock can go. I'm getting a lot of questions and a lot of emails from, from viewers like you that maybe in Weeble, for instance, or one of the smaller brokerages, Robinhood or something like that, uh, particularly Weeble. And again, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Okay. But I have a few shares left in Weeble. I've got most of my shares in, in one of the, in two of the big fours here in the States. Um, don't need to name them. Just know that I have them. And, and they're not a ton of shares. I'm not, believe me when I tell you, COVID blew my business away, blew my bank away. It just destroyed me. So I don't have a lot. But the ones that I do are in big time brokers here in the States. But with Weeble, I do have a couple shares left over in there. And I'm even thinking about getting rid of those in Weeble and bringing them, transferring them over here tomorrow, uh, at least initiating that transfer. But if you are in Weeble, think about this. First of all, Weeble's fine as far as most stock plays are concerned. I've shared on, I've traded on Weeble. I've liquidated shares on Weeble and transferred it into my bank account, no problem. They talk about, a lot of people are talking about the insurance, but you know, the DTCCC or whatever, they're, you know, will they cover stuff if like Weeble or one of the smaller brokerage apps go belly up and, you know, what's up? I'm thinking it's, it's kind of like on the fence thing. If you've done some investigation, I did a video on Weeble uh, and, and AMC just a little bit ago, about a week or so ago, and found that, you know, Apex Clearing is the ones that actually hold your shares. They're the custodian for Weeble. Okay, so Weeble, you, buy, you give Weeble your money. They, they get you a share, supposedly, whether it be a, a synthetic or a real share, they get you a share, and it's an Apex Clearing. You're able to go on Apex Clearing 
put your Webull account number in there and your password, and Apex will show you exactly your share or your shares. They're sitting right there. The problem is, is if this thing goes crazy, Webull gets vaporized uh, or something happens, you can't call Webull. What happens if the, the, the sell button disappears? What happens if Webull just goes up, just disappears? I don't know. I don't know. So I am going to, I, originally I was going to just take my couple shares and sit there in Webull and just see what happens, you know, with Webull. But, but my majority is over here in the big boys. I think I'm going to just come out of Webull altogether with this play, only because I can't call them on the phone if I need to. That's an important factor when you're dealing with this kind of money, this kind of potential money. So it costs about $75. You got to give it to Webull and they'll transfer your stuff over. Do it if you want to. That's your choice. I'm not telling you what to do. This isn't financial advice. I simply like to be transparent, letting you, my viewer, know exactly what's happening and what I'm doing. So that's it. Uh, what, what else do we know? Um, there's been talk about the insurance, the DTCC insurance. You know, they're the big boys. They're the ones on top of this game that insure a blanket over all these different apps and brokerages. So if something happens, they're the, they're, they're the ones you go to. They're the ones that get the pay us. If worst case scenario happens, there's no money uh, with, with you know, the, the hedge funds and such. I don't think it'll get to that point because the first hedge fund that you start seeing, we've already seen three go bye-bye, right? We know that these hedge funds are going to get liquidated, period. There's no other conceivable situation that can happen other than they're going to get liquidated. It's going to go click, 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 and they're going to go down like dominoes, and you're going to start seeing that. Again, I think that's going to happen in January this month. I'm going to tell you why in a minute. And the end game is Citadel, right? They're the ones, they're the market maker. They're the ones that are all, all these hedge funds have been following Citadel's lead, and Citadel's under investigation now. There's DOJ involved. The government's involved. It's a shit show, right? They have not had a Merry Christmas. Do you know what I'm saying? They have not had a Happy New Year. They have been feverishly either working with the feds now or something. Something's going on, but I'm willing to bet that Citadel will also get liquidated. Now, keep in mind, these hedge funds, including Citadel, they have long positions in blue chip stocks worth kajillions of dollars, lots of money. When those things get liquidated, that's that's where this money's going to come from. That's where this short squeeze play is going to, you know, the transfer of wealth that we've all been talking about is going to come from the hedge funds and ultimately Citadel, and if there's nothing available, if the well has runneth dry, all right, the DTCC, that's why they're there for situations like this to protect the market. The world is watching this, okay? The world is watching this. Now, that's what we know about the hedge funds, right? And what else do we know? We also know that hedge funds have been shorting businesses, shorting stocks for many, many years. Most recently, because they kind of got the run of the mill, they've got a free reign to do whatever they want because they got so much money and they're market makers, they shorted the crap out of two stocks or a bunch of stocks that they shouldn't have touched because they had no idea the storm, the shit storm that was coming. And that's us, you and me, the retail ape, the dummy who's holding the 50K at least. So when they risk an entire economy, Naked shorting a stock like AMC, GameStop, Clover, Sundial, and we get wind of that, and some guys over at Wall Street bets figure it out and put it public, and the apes, unga bunga baby, get involved and start buying this stuff. Look, we got nothing to lose but to hold. They're losing millions of dollars every single day holding their short positions in interest. So, guess what? This, unfortunately, these plays are going to be catalysts, major catalysts in the demise of the economy right now. You know it and I know it. They're talking about it on all sorts of news channels. The economy is going to take a poop. We're heading for a big recession. Interest rates are going up. We're heading for big financial problems. And unfortunately, the old wealthy people of the world who have invested with companies like Citadel, their monies are going to get shot out. They're going to be turning out their pockets. So, hey, brother, can you spare a dime? 
we're going to benefit. This is the first time in history that an economic demise, like our, our U.S. and really the world economy, demise where retail guys like you and me and girls, if you're a chick, uh, are going to come out ahead of this game banking. Okay, and I want to do a shout out if you're if you're watching from Canada, what's up Canada? If you're watching from Germany, hey Germany, uh, people from all over the place, France. I got people from all over the world watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so now with notifications. Blessings for you on that. But they've been doing this for years. It's finally caught up to them. The retail investor, you and me, have gotten wind. We've sunk our teeth into that stock and we're not letting go. Now, I keep saying this in other videos and I'm going to keep saying it again. Only you can hit that sell button. And that's determined upon what your number is, what's going to make you comfortable. But I'm telling you right now, me, the mathematics are there. The, 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 the facts are there. Look, before GameStop started shooting from wherever it was, $2 all the way up to 400 or something, we saw a lot of sell-offs of kind of insiders, you know? That was a, a catalyst for that to start mooning. We're seeing that now with AMC, right? We're seeing that over the last week or so with AMC. There's a lot of things pointing in the, in the direction that this is about to blow. Remember, I don't know what you have invested in AMC. That's your business. I'm just talking to you as a friend here. Um, and I get it. I get it. If you, you know, you're going to see numbers that are going to blow your mind. You're going to be like, ah, oh, this is great. So I'll do what you got to do. But remember what happened, remember back in like, you know, March, April, May, June, we, we were talking about it on the channel. It was a lot of fun. A lot of people were talking about it on the channel, on other channels, because even the, the guys that, you know, we've mentioned have all talked about this. All we have to do is hold, right? All we have to do is hold and the price goes up. If they can't buy, the price goes up, right? Because we own the flow, 80, 90%. Not to mention all the billions of of synthetic shares that are out there. They've painted themselves in the corner. My humble opinion, there aren't going to be any more hedge funds. I don't even think Citadel is going to be around when this is all over. Uh, bankruptcy and liquidation and being sucked up all their money is the least of their problems because then they're going to face some jail time because what they've done here is nothing short of criminal. Do you know? We all know it. The facts are out. We, we, you know, you've got apes out there doing, digging into di due diligence, digging into this, fit, you know, uncovering stuff, just exposing them, basically handing the information over to the feds, right? Probably didn't even have to do that because they probably knew what this was going on anyway. A lot of apes are going to start seeing money that they've never seen before, and they're going to start selling off when this hits a thousand or five thousand dollars per share, remember the number you see right now is not the real number. That's them playing psychological warfare on us. It ain't the real number, right? The real number is probably something like nine, ten, eleven, twelve thousand dollars per share. So when people start seeing that number realistically on the screens, on their phones, they're going to sell. Do what you got to do. I get it. Believe me, I get it. But me, look, I'm a single guy. I don't have thousands of shares. I just came from a devastating business collapse because of COVID. I didn't have, well, it, you know, you know what I'm talking about. COVID destroyed my, my, my whole world. Um, so I'm not in it to that extent. I'm in it enough that I can say to you with, with without a shadow of a doubt, I'm holding till at least, I don't start brewing coffee until I see fifty thousand dollars a share, and and this squeeze, it's going to be, it's going to happen. It's going to probably take a few days. Could it's going to take what it takes, but when it starts, you bet your ass, I'm going to be glued to the screen, and that's all I'm going to be focusing on, because when it hits fifty G's, then I think it'll hit a hundred grand. The mathematics are there. For me, not saying for you. It's not financial advice. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. I'm holding and I'm going to bleed the hedge funds out for as much as I can because I want to come out of this with life-changing money. You understand? That's what I'm doing. 
again, your number is your number. You make your choices um, based on what you need to, you know, need to be happy with coming out of this play. But this is why I think it's going to happen in January or at the very least quarter one of this year. And January sounds real good because think about it. The current climate in the United States, our economy, the way things are going, why they haven't done anything at the border is beyond me. That's just ludicrous to allow battalions of people to come through here and invade the country. That's this administration is going down. It's going downhill so fast. And I'm not trying to be political because, like I say, I'm an independent. Whatever makes sense is where I rock and roll with. Right. If it makes sense, it makes dollars. But here's the deal, man. This administration has cut off everything. It's destroyed pipeline. It's destroyed jobs. It's it's perpetuating this whole pandemic thing. Whatever the case may be, whatever your thoughts are, the approval rating of this administration is going down by the minute. Okay? So they need something. They need something. So think, follow me on this. They need something. This economy is going downhill. Whether they're going to let it slide downhill this month, this quarter, or towards the end of the year, it's going to happen. This economy, I did a video on it, the perfect storm. We're in it right now. We're coming about the, we're on the precipice of this. You know, we're, we're sitting on the perfect storm. You can smell the ions in the air. Do you know what I mean? If you're from a rainy part of town, they need something. If they cra if this economy crashes, and it's going to be because of AMC and G and GameStop are going to be one of the two major catalysts that create this crash. And they're going to, of course, blame it on the apes. And it's all bullshit because you, you know, as well as I do, it's their problem. We're just taking advantage of a situation. But with or without this, the economy's going down anyway. This current administration, you got the, you got November, the, the midterm elections, right? If this economy takes a poop, and I think it was Al on his, uh, on his video tonight, they were talking about this. If the economy takes a poop and goes bonkers, we go into a recession or even some slight depression era type stuff where prices are astronomical, it, it could get very ugly. They're going to have six months before the midterm elections to get this thing back up and rolling, right? Looks good. Vote for us. We're the good team. I don't think that's going to happen because America is smarter than that. And if you're watching from another country, <laughs> let me tell you something. I apologize because most Americans are not like that. We're, we're just like you. We just want to, we just want to get ahead. We want some opportunity. We want to make some money. We want to live happy. We want to, we want to enjoy our family and friends, just like you. We're just normal people. It's the governments we got to deal with. But anyway, I digress. My point is, it's got to happen now because this is their last ditch effort. It's got to happen now. It's got to happen now because AMC and GameStop, when it starts squeezing, and again, this is, Lou had alluded to this as well. This is going to be a managed event. I like to call it more of an orchestrated event because there's a lot of players involved. There's a, it's an orchestra. They have to, they have to make this thing happen. It's going to happen sooner or later. For the current administration, it's better for them to make it happen sooner so they have time to work on it, which ain't going to make a difference anyway because they're, they're done as far as I'm concerned. But it has to happen. So I think we're going to see it this month. Prayers to be that that happens this month. Because we're ready to move on, right? We're, move, we're ready to get into bigger and better things, other plays. You might have enough money to be like, F it. I'm not doing any other plays. I'm good. Um, you know, we'll see what happens. But mark my words, when this thing starts squeezing, when the MOAS is upon us, this boy is going to be watching the screen like a hawk. Nothing but a pot of coffee, jet fuel, and watching the screen like a hawk. And of course, like I said, I can afford to wait to $50,000 a share. And I think that's going to happen. I think we're going to see that. You're, it's going to make your head spin around. Again, this thing's going down in history. The books, there's going to be a movie about this. It's going to be, it's huge. It's bigger than 2008. It's, 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 it makes 2008 and the crash back then look like a, like, like you're playing with Tonka toys. This thing is big time, bigger than anybody ever imagined. And they're just going to sort it all out. Now they're sorting it all out. And they're going to figure out when, when, you know, when it's time, they're going to, 
unleash the, 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 the wolf, so to speak, and this thing's going to start ripping. 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 It's going to pop like Pop Rocks, baby. So I hope you enjoy this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below, please. Let me know. Let me know. Let's talk about this. Smash the like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already. More videos to come. Have a great day. God bless.